what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Adolf Twitler strikes again. Donald Trump went on Twitter today, lashing out against multiple targets, including Obamacare, Hillary Clinton, two newspapers, his own administration, and an investigation to whether his campaign colluded with Russia to fix the 2016 elections. Notably, he announced, all agree the U.S. president has the complete power to pardon. The Washington Post reported Friday, according to a source, that Trump had asked his team about the power to pardon aides, family members, and even himself. This in connection to the Russian inquiry. Another source told the Post that Trump's lawyers have been discussing the president's pardoning power among themselves. Wow. They're looking into ways that Donald Trump can get away with fixing the election, the 2016 election, colluding with Russia to fix the elections. With all of this stuff going on with Donald Trump and Russia, you've never seen this in the history of American politics before. Common sense would tell you that dude is in the wrong. Check out one of the tweets that he tweeted today. He said, while all agree the U.S. president has the complete power to pardon, why think of that when only crime so far as leaks against us? Fake news, all caps. He was really angry this morning. In another tweet, he said, so many people are asking, why isn't AG or special counsel looking at the many Hillary or Comey crimes? 33,000 emails deleted. Let it go, dog. Let the whole Hillary thing go. You won. She lost. She ate the pepper sauce. You won, man. Let it go. Leave it alone. The Hillary Clinton emails, while they were top secret and all that, it just didn't appear to do the damage that y'all trying to make out. She just didn't seem to do the damage. It was a witch hunt all along, and it was all Donald Trump really had to like hold on to. And he just rode it all the way into the White House, and he's still riding it. Let it go, dude. Let it go. But he got to hold on to something because that's what Donald Trump does. He deflects and he will never accept accountability. But he wants everybody else to be held accountable. He wants criminals to be held accountable. He wants members of his staff to be held accountable. He wants North Korea to be held accountable, China to be held accountable, Syria to be held accountable, Israel, oh, 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 oh God forbid Israel be held accountable, can't, can't hold Israel accountable, <laughs> went too far. Here's the deal, man. You got to know dude is up to something. You got to know it's just, it's just too much, man, every single day. And it gets worse and worse because he constantly lying to cover up other lies. It's no secret. He colluded with Russia to get into the White House. I mean, he had enough people out there that was riding for him, but not enough to get those votes that he needed. As much as you would like to think Americans are all like him. We just don't have enough of them that's like him in order for him to win. It's enough. It's a lot of them, though. It's, it's millions, but not that many million. This dude really believes he can pardon 
himself. If that was the case, Nixon would have pardoned himself. I mean, and why would he need to pardon himself if he hasn't done anything wrong? If he's not guilty of any crime, why does he need to pardon himself? You see, this is one of those cases where something comes out of somebody's mouth or off their fingertips, in the case of Adolf Twitler, and they go like, oh, oh, hell, st stuck my foot in my mouth. I didn't mean to say that, it slipped. But then again, Donald Trump is so arrogant, he'll let it out, he'll let the truth out and don't give a damn because he understands that Americans are cowards. Deep down inside, Americans are foolish and they're not going to do anything about it. It's like he said during his run for presidency when he was on the campaign trail and he said, I could stand in front of, in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and no one would do anything. I wouldn't lose any votes. So far, he's been right. But asking his lawyers, can he pardon himself? because of the inquiries into the Russian uh, scandal, it lets you know that this dude is not qualified to lead. It lets you know that his brain ain't all the way there. In the words of one of my favorite television actors, Red Fox, and the role that he played as Fred G. Sanford, the G stands for govern. You big dummy, you foolish little man. Don't you know that only a president can pardon? If you get busted, you will no longer be the president. Maybe you need to go talk to the vice president. Maybe you need to cuddle up with Pence because he's probably the only one that's going to keep you out of jail for treason because he's likely to become the president. He's likely to take your place and you're going to need him. So tell me up. This dude is the worst of the worst. Anyone that really thinks that Donald Trump is smart, you got to be out of your mind. That really tells me how dumb you really are if you really think Donald Trump is smart. This dude is delusional. The office of the presidency is supposed to be one of integrity. It's supposed to represent the best of the best. You're not supposed to have all of these scandals. Hey, listen, one or two scandals, scandals per administration, that's good. You know, that, you know, that's, that's about average. I mean, that's cool. You know, one or two Three is a stretch, but you know, one or two. That's about average. But this dude has been dogged with scandals. Scandal after scandal after scandal after scandal. This dude is not qualified to be the president of the United States. This dude ain't even qualified to be president of a boys club. The dude is just bad with leadership. He been getting over for so many years with his dad and money. He just been getting over. And people, a lot of people in this country, they mistakenly relate to money as someone being smart. 
they, they, they see somebody that has money and they automatically think, well, you got that money, you got to be pretty smart. It's a whole lot of people running around here who have marginal talent that's got a lot of money in America that has marginal intelligence, have a lot of money in America. Hell, you can win the lottery and be the dumbest person on the planet and come up on a $200 million lick in America. So that ain't saying too much. But getting back to American standards, presidential standards, one should be able to look at the president of the United States and say, wow, that's the highest office in the land, the highest position. Wow, in order to get there, I must really be on my, I have to really study. I have to really work hard. I have to be intelligent. I'm representing a whole entire nation. And one of the most influential, the most influential nation in the world you gotta be really, really politically astute to hold that position. And you have to have some type of honor to hold that position, some type of integrity, which Donald Trump has none. Putin's wealth to Donald Trump is like candy to a child. The only problem is that America is the child. And she's holding hands with a predator by the name of Vladimir Putin. And they're walking around looking for a lost puppy that don't exist. No more talk. What, what the maid is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.